Happy Saturday. Welcome back to Kevin Toll Reads. Today is the first video in a new series I am titling Saturday Shorts. And boy, did I pick out a good one for this first video. Just to set this up, this is a new series where I'm going to each week pick out and then surprise you uh, without telling you ahead of time what the short story is. Being the first video, you all knew that I was going to be reading the first short story in 12 Red Herrings by Jeffrey Archer. The story is titled Trial and Air. And boy, was it great. Um, but moving forward, it is always going to be a surprise. I have a plethora of authors and books to choose from. I had quite a bit as I kind of went through my library. Um, a lot of Stephen King, some Ken Liu, some Joe Hill, some Louis L'Amour. Um, and then you got, I asked you all for some feedback and you gave me some. And so I've started a laundry list of ones that I need to be on the lookout for. I actually was out uh, a couple times this past, this weekend so far and uh, spent some time with both of my daughters and we would peruse some bookstores and I ended up finding some collections of short stories and I found a couple uh, ones that uh, I believe you all said to be on the lookout for and so I picked up a couple of those and so um, those are on the list as well. I think I've got about 20, 25 good books so far and I'm going to be on the lookout for others as well. So I think I've got a great library of short stories to choose from and it's going to be very interesting. I'm going to keep it fresh. I'm going to keep it uh, moving throughout different authors and I think it's going to be great. So I'm really excited about this. Again, I have kind of an outline I'm going to go towards. I might change it up a little bit to see how this thing goes. Again, this is going to be a little longer today because it's the first one, but I'm really excited to do these reviews and talk about various things, not, not only just the short story, but maybe some deep dive into the author or their characters, the theme of the short, short stories, uh, maybe what kind of emotions or thoughts or, uh, you know, process that the writer was in when writing this or themes and ideas and maybe what he was trying to accomplish in, in short stories. I think you can get um, some great ones and I think we'll also have some duds, um, which I don't want to be smiling about, but that happens with short stories. We're going to have ones that we want to, we wish that would have continued, we wish that would have had more pages, more words, and we're going to have some that maybe you know, like we could have condensed it down a little bit, and we're going to have some like today's I thought was just perfect. And so I'm really excited about this, and we're going to, again, start off with Trial and Error by Jeffrey Archer, the first short story of 12 in this collection by Jeffrey Archer. It is called Trial and Error. It is 61 pages in length. The, really, the theme of this one is revenge. It's wrongful imprisonment, uh, meticulous planning, at plotting revenge on uh, a couple people. And so a brief summary about this. This book uh, takes place across the pond. This is in England. I really enjoy this. Obviously, Archer is from there and writes pri primarily in that kind of uh, geography. And so this talks about Richard Cooper. He is a son of a, a very hard-nosed man that loves to put a good days in and they own a trucking and distribution business and the son um, goes to school in high school and wants to go to college and the father's like no I can teach you more come work for me and the father always had plans to bring him into the business and so Richard rises in through the ranks and goes and does the various things from being a trucker to be working as a manager and distribution and invoicing and collections and all aspects of the business. Also that also that one day when the father retires that Richard could take over the business, which he does. It sets up a really good family dynamic at the beginning. And then you get into Richard getting married very early, very suddenly. Um, but then deals with a major conflict and with his first wife's passing and along with their newborn baby during childbirth. But the story really picks up the plot and the real meat of the story revolves around meeting his second wife, Rosemary, and meeting a gentleman named Jeremy Alexander, who is one of these people that Richard meets as he's looking to expand his father's business, even though his father never wanted to expand the business, was happy with what he had, so to speak. He wants to, he has ideas of grandeur and wants to expand the family business. And lo and behold, 
He, in doing so, he goes to various conferences and he runs across someone he thinks is really, really smart and went to a lot of school that he didn't go to. And he thinks he is the right person to kind of bring on board and bring in house to help expand the business. But in doing so and in meeting his wife, new wife, Rosemary, um, some things just don't seem to fit. And so that's where the story really takes off. And so in the theme of, of not having spoilers, um, we don't get into any. Um, so that's kind of the premise of the, the story and kind of gives you a good firm foundation of where this could be heading. And so I really enjoyed uh, this story. So let's talk a little bit about what makes it a really good short, short story. I think this, again, this was a great entry to kick the series off because I think it's fantastic. I enjoyed the flashback you really start start with and we'll talk a little bit about excerpts the very kind of in the middle in the middle of the story and then kind of go back and you kind of learn okay where did he come from how did he get to where he is and in the situation he's in i like that kind of uh flashback i really enjoyed the characters i thought in a 60 <laughs> to one page short story we really got some pretty dynamic characters we got a lot of conflict and confrontation we got a lot of emotion and I thought it was really, really well done. I really enjoyed, obviously, the main characters, um, Jeremy Alexander, I love, I love Richard. I liked Rosemary. I She was very kind of cold-hearted. Um, but I also liked an inspector that comes into the story um, later in kind of the meet and to the da-da type part of the story. And you'll see that when, if you read it. Um, there was a character while Richard was in jail. And you get that at the very beginning. Um, that was one of the excerpts, you know, that we'll talk about in a minute. But one of the people he meets in jail is named Fingers Jenkins. And you'll see why when you read it. I really enjoyed, again, that it's setting in England. They talk about Yorkshire and different places. And I thought that was really, really, really good. Um, his lawyer, they called Sir, you know, in the first, before his full name. And I thought that was really cool. It's kind of a, an homage to, to that and how they speak over there. Um, I like the covert operation, the funding setup of all this, how this takes place when he's plotting his revenge. I thought it was a perfect one setting read. Um, 61 pages. I read it in an, an hour. I thought it was really, really good. I spent more time kind of going back through in summer and going through and skimming it after reading it, trying to write down different pieces and notes and things that I liked. And, and I didn't really have any dislikes, just so you know. So... I really thought the ending was satisfying, the, con the conclusion, how some of the loose ends were tied up. I thought that was really, really well done by Archer. One of the, a couple of the excerpts, again, the opening, you know, it, it kind of is, is interesting because it goes into, it's hard to know exactly where to begin. But first, let me explain why I'm in jail. And that's how the story, the short story opens. And I thought it was really, really good. I also liked one part in the story where Richard is in jail and he is going to hear about sentencing. I don't know if it's on the appeal, but um, all of the peop the inmates in jail are banging metal co cups against the, the bars and they're paying homage because that's what they do when um, they're indicating an innocent man walking kind of thing. And I thought that was really, really neat. In terms of overall rating, I gave this a four five out of five. Um, I do plan to rate these short stories as we talk about them and keep a record of them all and to kind of give you kind of some summary, you know, throughout this process, maybe every quarter or whatever, like where we're at and what's been my greatest short story so far. Um, one of those kind of collage videos, but I gave this a four five. This is exactly what I want for my short stories. Obviously, there's a little bit of room for perfection, but this is just, this is what you want every time. Now, there's going to be stinkers when we read these. Lo and behold, there will be. Um, there's definitely some of my favorite collections from King and others. There's definitely ones in there that are okay. Uh, but there's ones that are just the highs are really high. So I really enjoyed this. I highly recommend you pick this up. Jeffrey Archer, 12 Red Herrings. Trial and Error was great. There's 11 other short stories in here. I'd love to just binge read this because I really, really enjoy short stories. And it's obviously why I launched this series. But... I highly recommend this.
Um, I really had a lot of fun doing this. I am excited and looking forward to the next one. Obviously, like I said, it's going to be a surprise. I'm not going to tell you. You'll, when the video launches, I'll more than likely have a snippet of the title of the short story and you can Google it or, or just tune in and, and find out. So I hope you're having a great Saturday. I am so excited about the direction of this channel and this is just really, really a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoy this and I hope you have a great weekend. Thanks a lot.